Hello and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video we're going to do something a little bit different. We were asked by one of our viewers to show how we have set up our airbrush bench with our airlines. So we thought we would take you through part of our shop and show you how we've done that. You can see here we've got our compressor box um, which is made out of aluminium composite panel. You'd be aware of that if you've watched any of our other videos. So you can see the box made up there and we're just going to move that over to the side so we can reveal the compressor. Now the compressor that we're using is a 3 horsepower belt drive compressor with approximately a 100 litre tank on it. So that's plenty of um, storage for us to run all of our classes. And we run straight out of the compressor into the airline there. We've got some quick connect fittings by Anastar Water. And you can also see that little bit of green in the background there, that padding. That's just a bit of soundproofing that we put on there. But remember, if you ever build a box for your compressor, it does need to have a, a hole on the side. And we've also got one on the other side just to allow airflow through. Plus, it's also situated near our roller door in our shop. So that allows a bit more airflow to go through. But the soundproofing definitely helps to deafen the sound. So we'll just close that up again. Now that hose leads into this next part, which is our air filter by Amaxi. Uh, we'll show you a close up of that in a minute. Okay, so here is a basically a mock up Amaxi filter. This is a clear version. You cannot purchase the clear version. It's purely for display only, but at least it shows you how they work. Um, the connections fit on the bottom, it comes with the connections and it's got toilet rolls in it and that's what filters your air and it just comes back out there and then you'll see how we lead that into our next part of the setup. So the hose, again another connection, goes into this part here which is now the regulator and moisture trap. And you'll see here you can just drain the moisture out by twisting that. This moisture traps a two spray brand. Then the airline continues and runs up the side wall of our office and runs along the top of the mezzanine, which I won't show you exactly how it's laid up out there because that's purely storage, but at least you know roughly where it's going. So we're just walking along past the mezzanine there and you'll see the airline now runs from the top of that level. Um, I've now hidden it in some conju just to make it look a bit more, a bit nicer. And also it keeps the um, airlines a lot straighter and it was easy, makes it easier to fit. You can see they run into a T intersection and I'll show you um, one continues across the wall whereas this one runs down into our first airbrushing bench. So we run uh, stainless steel benches just so they're easy to wipe up and keep clean whether you're using water-based or automotive paints. You can see airbrush holder there on the side and we've got another, so that one runs now into this moisture trap and connector and we leave that connector on there so that we can also run a manifold which you'll see a bit later in the video. That just shows you how you drain that moisture trap out but generally the Amaxi filter will capture most things so we, we hardly get, well we don't get any moisture really so it's, it works really well. Then this is um, the other connection on our double bench and there's the manifold so you can see we've got six ports available there and then this part clicks into our moisture trap and regulator. You can see I've just got that cable tied. When we do courses, we need to move things around, so it's not. That's why this one's not a permanent uh, fixture. But you can tell that everything runs back through um, from the main compressor through right through the first filter, which is the Amaxi one, then the moisture trap, and then through another moisture trap before your airbrushing. So there's really a lot of steps to get there. So just to make sure that our air is clean, as that's very important. You can see the airbrush hooked up there. So you can hook up numerous airbrushes and just run with that. So now I'm just going to show you that again, that setup. So you can see underneath 
So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video and you saw how we set up our airbrush benches. Thanks for watching.